testing the limits of flavor. There is a cheetah, an extreme risk taker, living life on the edge dangerously. He lives a bold life, as it ain't easy being cheesy, and his name is Flamin' Hot Brick. Yeah, oh man. And welcome to a Dr. Squatch Soap Guide. Today, the shower runs hot with the Flamin' Hot Brick. This is a collab between Squatch and Cheetos. Yeah, a bit of an odd one, but definitely a unique one. This is the second time Squatch has tried a spicy brick like this out. But unlike the Fuego Fresh, this blazing hot brick really does bring the heat. So let's get into it. As for the unique ingredients, we have two. The highlighted red cornmeal, as well as sand. Both of these are essentially going to be doing the same thing adding the bar's heavy grit. These are exfoliants that will help clear away dead skin and impurities, allowing for a deeper clean. It looks to be a fiery experience, but don't worry, there's no actual jalapener, so you won't burn your Peter. The scent is very strong. When you first get it, it's potent and bold, and extremely spicy. It's not a straight up flaming Hot Cheeto scent, it's better than that. There's some good sriracha spice here, but also some refreshing lime. It's basically what the Fuego Fresh scent should have been. It's not cheesy, it's not really a Cheeto scent at all in my opinion, but it is somewhat salty, and even has a hint of citrus. It's also one that can take over the bars around it, it's that strong, which with a scent like this is not the most desirable. But I'm not one to complain about a potent scent. However, once you use it in the shower, the strength does tone down a bit, still stronger but not overpowering. The lime also really comes out, taking much of the edge off of the spicy pepper. It's pretty refreshing actually, at least in my opinion, but I am someone who loves spice. I put cayenne on just about everything, so if you're not a fan of spicy peppers, this may not be for you. But you know what they say, if you can't take the heat, get out of the shower. The grit is more light, I wouldn't even call it medium to be honest, and definitely not heavy. I was surprised it's even labeled that. However, I do think the lighter grit is a nice touch. It adds some exfoliation, a noticeable amount, but not a whole lot. In fact, the bar becomes very tame overall in the shower, being much more pleasant than you may expect. And there's something with these spicy bars, but I just find they clean pretty well. They feel great to use, very cleansing, very rejuvenating. It's not quite as good of a wash as the Fuego Fresh though, so it's like with the Cheetos flavors. The jalapeno is better than the Flamin' Hot. As for my thoughts, I didn't mind the Flaming Hot Brick. I could appreciate what it's going for, even if it is a bar I won't be coming back to anytime soon. To me, this is a higher end, quite a height. Meaning, I don't think it's a bad bar, but it is a little extreme, even for my liking. Now, I asked you mains what you thought of this boy, and well, you guys were really not fans of this one. I think I might be a little higher on it than the consensus, but I wouldn't blame anyone for not caring for it. The spicy scent doesn't shy away from bringing the heat. It's very potent and strong, and can even be somewhat refreshing with notes of lime and citrus. While it's gimmicky, certainly, it's much more practical than it appears. The wash feels pretty good, nothing crazy like the scent, and it's really only rocking with a light grit, but it still feels very clean, just like we've come to expect from most Squatch bricks. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear what you think of this flaming hot brick. Until next time, stay cheesy. Yeah, oh man!